Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have a brand new Life by You clip. We've seen walls and floors, customization, food marts, and now we're getting into a little bit of house building. They've uploaded a how to build a house from scratch. I think this is the longest clip, the longest preview that we've had so far. And they also posted on their Twitter account, I believe it was either last night or the day before, that there is a lot that they want to show us in the month of June. So we're probably going to get more content and more previews than ever this month. So super, super exciting for that. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. I haven't seen it. I want to react to this and talk about it with you guys here on the channel. Hi, everyone. It's Rocio, and I'm here to walk you through building a brand new house. As you might be able to notice, Beatrice has an empty lot right now, which means we're going to start from the ground up. As I enter build mode, it gives me the option to start to create the initial floor plan for my house, just like it says on top all I have to do is click and drag. A quick disclaimer, I'm not a great builder, so poor Beatrice. Now there are a couple of tools here when I click. This one in particular allows me to create a wall so that I can create dividers. And you can place dividers diagonally, you can place them on the grid, you can place them off the grid. Just make sure to place them in your house. This next tool allows me to add to the floor plan, very similar to how I created the original floor plan. All I have to do is click and drag. And I'm gonna do this a few times and make this kind of a funky shaped house. Well, isn't this house shaping up in just the the most interesting ways. Now let me show you another tool. This one removes from the house plan. So if I wanted to say get rid of the middle of this house, I could do that. As fun as it is for me, I don't think Beatrice would appreciate that, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Next up, let me show you how to add rooms. So you go ahead and click this button and then just drag the room where you'd like it to be. And now that I've made it, I can add a doorway to it. Maybe this is the bathroom, I don't know yet. Now you might be asking yourself, how can a human being live in this house? This is really cool, but I already have a lot of questions. Like notice how when they added a room room they didn't just use the regular wall tool they used add a room tool so is that something different from walls do you actually have to use another tool for it to be considered a room will just dividing the walls up with the wall tool consider them rooms i don't know maybe i'm just thinking too much into this but so far this is really cool i like the add to the house and remove from the house feature and if you're adding to the house and you drag partly in the house and partly out of course it's going to add walls on the outside part and keep what's already on the inside and then if you want to remove it's just going to simply do the opposite that's a really cool tool i love that our next tool allows you to move the house you can rotate it you can move it up or down in case you want to add a foundation as well as moving it north south east and west this final tool allows me to remove walls so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one stray wall in the middle of the room and open up the floor plan again and voila that is the basics of building a floor plan okay so far i'm liking the basic features, the simple features. It seems like a lot of what is already in The Sims 4 is here. You can raise the house, lower the house, add foundations. Seems like that stuff is there. I love the ability to actually pick up the house and rotate the house. That's nice as well. I was kind of hoping that would be in here. Happy to see that that's in here too. That is the basics of building a floor plan. That being said, we're not done here. I want to show you a little bit more. Beatrice deserves the best in life, so we're going to give her some more floors. Let's move up to the top floor of my house currently. Similar to when I first started building the house, now I have the option to add to the floor plan. Let's make sure Beatrice has some shade in the back of her house and, and make this into a bit of an overhang. Opening up the floor plan tools, I have the same options I had on the first floor. I'm going to go ahead and continue to extend this second floor to make it a little bit more livable. That being said, I'm not going to give up my avant-garde stylistic choices, so I'm going to just keep extending this and making it look like a pyramid. Now I don't see why we should stop there, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a third floor because Beatrice deserves it all. Let's go ahead and add the top of the pyramid and this could be maybe her little attic. Now that we have our floors, let's go ahead and walk through our stair options. Cool, so they're gonna add stairs. I like what they're doing with this house. I really, really hope that they play around with roofs. I wanna see how the roofs work, the roof tools. You can have free placement stairs. 
you can place an exterior anchored porch. And let me show you how to add a balcony now. Again, I'm just letting the spirit of architecture overtake me as I make this porch. Now that I've drawn Whoa. it out, I can go ahead and add some railing. So is there like so actually a, a porch tool? Here, but I'm gonna go with the tallest one so that they stay extra safe. Now there are a few different styles of porch that I'll walk you through. As you can tell, I started off with the stilts, but I can move on to the cantilever, the slab. I kind of like the cantilever, especially since I put up the railing, so they should be safe. I say the more the merrier with this house, so let's add some stairs to this porch. They're a bit long, so let me go ahead and shorten those. In addition to changing the size, the width of the stairs, you can change the material. I'm gonna go ahead and make those stone steps. Whoa, wait a minute. So you can even place the stairs outside of the house box, like outside of the actual lot that you can edit on, because it clearly let the stairs be placed in that way here. That's really cool. An outdoor staircase. I can also move the steps and I'll move them a bit to the right so that she can actually enter her house. I have a lot of questions here. Oh, and that is perfect. so Let's cool. Let's go ahead and add a door next because right now there's no way to get in or out. You just go ahead and click on the door icon. I'm gonna pick something a little more modern for my very modern house. I click place and set it on the wall that I'd like it to be on. And of course I can move that as well. Now I won't make you sit through 30 seconds to a minute of me messing with this door color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up and I hope you enjoy my process. The customization of this is so cool. Cool. Look at that, the color wheel on specific individual objects, doors, windows, using custom colors, saturation, lightness, choosing the material. It's truly giving Sims 3. Like you could do that in The Sims 3. I just like how they're purposefully making this house super weird and super awkward so you can see what you can build, like what you can create in this game. Now let's see about adding inside stairs. Once I click on the staircase type that I want, it'll show me where the floor above it would connect it. I'm gonna go ahead and place it right there. And again, I have the option to add railing. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the railing. Again, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So you can place the stairs free reign. That did not look constricted to a grid to me. That looked like you could actually free place it like if you were holding down the alt key in the sims like that is so cool i already said before it's gonna be a builder's paradise just like para lives but like i'm not even a builder and now i want to just build and see what i can create like i don't know maybe this game will be the reason why i get into building who knows and just like the outside stairs i can go ahead and pick the material that makes the most sense let's just go ahead and go with a simple hardwood and again you can change the length of the staircase the width of the staircase let's go with a narrow one because i don't think she's going to the attic too often. That's I'll so also easy. go ahead and adjust the landing size of this staircase so that we have a little bit more runway to the attic. Oh my gosh, landing size adjustment. This is so cool. And you can always change it once you see what it looks like on the floor above. In this case, let's move it a little closer to the edge of the room just so that she has more real estate to work with in the attic. I love that. It just shows you where you can place it and where it's going to be. There's no guessing games that you have to play. It's going to tell you where you can place it so that it can actually have access to that upstairs. Let's speed up my placement a bit because we're going to the roof. As interesting as our weird house is, it is pretty flat right now. So let's go ahead and open our roof options. As you can see, there are a bunch of different options. I'll go ahead and scroll through them. Add shed, add fitted slab. Some options include mansard roofs. They include gable roofs. Just a side note as I scroll, but I more than doubled the number of roof types that I know just from working on this game. I'm going to use this auto fit roof feature. From that, I got a roof that I think will really work for this floor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move that into position. And of course, I can always resize the roof. Now we won't finish Beatrice's house today, but for a final touch on this video, let's go ahead and add some texture to this roof. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a classic red tile look. Again, you can scale this, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the tile size a bit, and that looks nice. I think it is a little too bright though, so let's go ahead and make it a bit darker. I'm loving the pattern scaling. I'm still blown away with that from the last couple of videos. I have to say, if there's anything that I would improve so far, it really just comes down to the UI. I feel like they could definitely improve the UI. I'm like looking at it and I feel like I'm a little bit confused sometimes, like it's a little over 
overwhelming. I feel like it could be a little more user friendly. But other than that, I feel like what we're seeing so far is really good. I'm kind of blown away. I just, I love the customization. Oh my gosh, builders are going to have so much fun in this. And voila, thank you for joining me on this architectural journey. There's still more to building, so we might see Beatrice's house again. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. I love that. Look at the way they dragged that window out. That was, that was so cool. So that's it for this video. I definitely want to see more. Like I want to see them kind of place a roof on that midsection and then place a roof on that lower section. I want to see how it kind of makes the house look when all is said and done. Like I want to see if there's any clipping, if there's any issues, because I know that roofing in The Sims 4 can be a little weird, but can look really, really good when done properly. I just want to see how all of the roofs and stuff intersect with the walls and on the inside and what that looks like when you're playing the game. So hopefully we'll have more looks at that in the future. Share your thoughts below and what you guys think of the building tools that were shown off here, the roofs, the stairs, the landings, the little balcony, the porch that they created. Pretty cool stuff. I just hope that the human or the character can actually get up there from the outside because you can tell that the landing of that first staircase is actually placed outside of the grid for the lot. So if we're able to actually go outside of that grid, that is going to be a game changer, at least for me. Share your thoughts below. I love you guys. Take care. And of course, if there are any more updates, I'll be bringing them to you as soon as possible. Happy life simming.